We are at Cherokee Park, people, and the season has started, which means the big fish of death have nowhere to hide from their most feared predator, me. So we are going to fish for some big fish of death and hopefully catch some gato fish as well. I'm gonna throw some hot dogs, some worms, and obviously we're gonna toss a lure as well. It's extremely windy today, so I'm actually in this more sheltered area over here behind some trees, which will protect me from some of the wind. It is very shallow here, but the entire marsh is very shallow. So let's go get some big fish of death. Now that we got the worm and the cut bait, I mean, not the cut bait, the hot dog out, I actually need some uh, bluegill for cut bait later. So let's see if we can get anything near the shore trying to fish for gills. We have a uh, 20 mile plus per hour winds. I don't think there are any bluegills in the shallows. So we're gonna toss this, um, this old swim bait, jerk bait type of thing and see if we can get any fish in the deeper parts of the pond. Switch to the smaller pole and bait and it immediately gets a bite. I think that's a northern pike though. I guess they like minnows. The smaller pike do like minnows. It's a big fish of, oh, is that a pike or a bowfin? Nope, it's a big fish of death. A big fish, well, it's not really a big fish of death. See, it's, a, it's more of like a tiny fish of death. But it's still a fish of death, nonetheless. A northern pike, a fish of death. I likey them fish of death. I really likey them fish of death. Well, that was the first fish of spring. Pretty much untied it and then it flopped back into the water so I couldn't get it on the camera. But, good first fish of opening season today. A, a miniature big fish of death. Now I just need a bigger big fish of death. I wonder how many fish of death are out there because I think this place pretty much only has fish of death. I've not caught anything besides fish of death and a bowfin uh, from Cherokee Lake. Finally, the big bait pole picked up something. It was the hot dog. So it could either be a bowfin, a gato fish, or possibly a bigger fish of death. Whatever it is, it's heavier than that last fish. I think it's a fish of death, actually. By the way, as we don't know, fish of death love mini hot dogs. I have caught probably more fish of death on mini hot dogs this season than uh, any other bait. Don't know why they love the mini hot dogs so much, but it's more of a fish of death thing. Pretty sure it's a, uh, yeah, it looks like a pike. It looks like a fish of death. Looks like a big fish of death, guys. It's bigger than the last fish of death, definitely. Yep, it's long, elongated. It is indeed a fish of death. A big fish of death. Caught on, again on the mini hot dog. A big fish of death. It's uh, I'm gonna reel them up. De oh. Oh, no, no, oh. Oh, no, it got away, it got away. Switch the worm for a shrimp, because uh, nothing was biting the worm, which is not something you hear me say all that often. Usually the worms do a lot of work, but right now, it's the big uh, hot dogs that are getting bitten by big fish of death, and maybe the shrimp will attract some gato fish, or some other fish besides a big fish of death. I don't mind big fish of death, but, uh, Basically, they're all I catch around here, so it'd be good if I can catch one of those giant gato fish. Also, I attach steel leaders to both my baits. Um, I'm pretty sure that last one uh, actually broke my string when it was like thrashing near the shore, and I lost my weight, and I don't have too many weights left. So, I gotta watch out for that. So, I'm gonna have lead leader, like not lead, uh, steel leaders, so I don't lose any of that stuff. Also, the, uh, the bait I'm using right now, the lure I'm using right now, could actually attract small fish like crappie. I don't mind catching a crappie here, and I know they're here, just not in huge numbers. Well, um, the lures weren't working, so I just decided to toss another hot dog out on my medium pole and use this little stick shift thing as a kind of a set. So far, you know, fishing hasn't been too bad, two fish of death but no gato fish, which is what I'm after. And um, I'm guessing it's like 80 degrees today, so I'm guessing most of the fish are actually out in the deeper water, hiding from the sun, and they'll come in towards dusk. It's still a couple hours away. I'm just gonna sit and chill and maybe take some pictures of birds uh, if I can find them. So uh, yeah, gonna sit and chill for a while and hopefully we get another big fish of death. Okay, that was now wind. Got another one. I wonder if it's a fish of death or a gato fish. Oh, okay, should not set up my drag so light because uh, these fish really aren't that big, but I wonder if it's a fish of death or a gato fish. I can't let it go over there. 
So I'm going to tighten my drag here. It's either a fish of death or a gato fish. Let's see which one it is. Yeah, it's not. It's probably a gato. You know, it hasn't surfaced yet. Usually fish of death surface faster, but nope, it's still a fish of death on another hot dog. I'm going to run out of hot dogs soon if uh, these fish of death keep biting. This one's not a big one, not a huge one definitely, but not like, yeah, it's tiny. This one's been beat up pretty bad though. Another fish of death on a hot dog. They can't get enough of the hot dog. Fish of death. There we go, a fish of death. A big fish of death. Only about 18 inches of death fish. Pretty small one, but at least I can show you one on opening day. I've caught three today, two on hot dogs, one on lures. All right, fish of death. Back in the water you go. Back in the water you go. Grow much bigger so I can catch you when you're much bigger. There you go. It's about 18, maybe 20 inch fish of death. Um, I guess we should call them fishlings of death because they're not proper fish of death yet, unless they're at least 24 inches. That's right, we'll call them fishlings of death. I think I feel a very weak bite here. That's definitely a fish. It took my hot dog, so I'm guessing it's a big fish of death, or rather a small fish of death, a fishling of death. Oh, I like to hear that line cranking, but uh, I don't really think I need it for a 20 pound braid here. Just Make sure to get it away from my other poles. Oh, another one. Yep, it's another fish of death. Just by the, just by the uh, outline of the fish, I can tell it's a fish of death. I'm gonna use my handy dandy net for this one. Cause I have my net with me. But that's another fish of death. This is the fourth fish of death today. Fourth fish of death. I gotta get this one in though. Oh, this one's actually not too small, but it's still a fish of death ling. It's not a real. Oh, look at that jump, baby. Look at that jump. It's still not a true fish of death. All right, fish of death. Really glad I got a steel leader on this. All right, it's stuck there on the rock. I uh, probably would have broken the string if I didn't have a steel leader on it. But I need to get it away from the rock because uh, it's kind of stuck there. These fish are kind of dumb. All right, but it's in, it's in. Fish of death. Looks like this one's got a little bit more fight in him left. Since I got him off the rock, so I will have to use the net. Yes, the net. Oh, this one's a little bigger than the other one. Come on, fish of death. Get in the net. Got myself another fish of death. There you go. Another fish of death. Fourth one for today. Three on hot dogs. Three on hot dogs. They're way out there, so probably why I'm not catching them. There you go, fish of death. That was the fourth one today. I think I'm gonna run out of like catfish bait if the pike keep eating it. I don't think there's anything they won't eat at this point. Pretty sure if I throw a cup bait out there, they'll probably eat that as well, but they love the mini hot dogs. There we have a male mallard duck. The females always have ducklings with them, but the males swim free because they're negligent fathers. Got another one. Got another one. I don't know if it's actually a pike or not. It did jump though. It is pretty lively. So I got a fish. I wonder if it's another pike that just bit the hot dog. They're trying to be sneaky-ish, but pike bites, I can tell. They're not like tiny fish like bluegills. If a bluegill like bit that hot dog, I'd be worried because when I go retrieve that bluegill, it just might own me. Bluegills are like super, super aggressive and I don't want to screw with a bluegill that big. Yep, it's another fish of death. Is it a bigger fish of death though? Or is it just another small fish? Ah, it's another small fish of death. I think all of them I've caught are around this size, like around the 20 inch marker, about 20 inches. All right, I'm gonna have to go get the net again. It's the fifth fish of death today. They're very deadly. Look at that, look at that. Very lively and very, very deadly. Fish of death. They like the hot dog. They definitely like the hot dog. Oh, there you go, fish of death. I gotcha. Look at that. Another fish of death. Very, very deadly death fish these days. But very small death fish. There you go, fish of death. That's five fish of death and zero gato fish and zero other fish. I'm waiting for my shrimp to go off because that would probably signal a gato fish. The pike don't really seem to like the shrimp, but they love the hot dogs. Also, like, well, it's really windy today. I see all these, like, tree swallows 
flying above the water. And there's a red-winged blackbird right there. I don't know what those tree swallows are doing. I think they might be trying to scoop up little minnows or something. I haven't seen any minnows by shore, but maybe that's what they're doing. I see them all the time at Horicon Marsh too. Just a weird thought about birds and people. You know, in birds, it's always like the males that are like really flashy, colory, that are like, you know, wearing the, the nice clothes or the nice feathers. In people, it's the other way around. Why is that? Oh my gosh, something bit the worm. Could this be the fish I'm looking for? If this is another big fish of death, then... Is this a channel gato fish? Just whatever it is still on. Is this the gato fish of legend? Well, it's not the gato fish of legend because it's small. But is this the gato fish I've been looking for? Is this the fish I've been looking for? No, it's not. It's a carp. No, it's, it's a drum. I've actually never caught a drum in a Cherokee Lake. Uh, I mean, I know they're here because this is the Yahara River. Although it's kind of strange because like the Yahara isn't very big at this point and drums usually like bigger uh, waters. But it is a drum. Oh, well, second species of the day. It's not a fish of death, so I guess mission accomplished. Not a bad drum either. Good drum, a good drum bud. It's a fat drum. Spiked me too. Look at the size of that stomach. It's fat. You're a beast, drum. Don't make fun of me. I just ate a lot. All right, drum. All right. I'll let you go back. I'll let you go back. All right, drum. All right, all right. You're a fat drum, but I'll let you go back. It's a fat drum there. Well, since now we got a non-pike fish, I want to see if the panfish are actually here. So I'm going to toss this out uh, under a bobber. It's about a foot and a small piece of worm. Hopefully something actually does bite it. Looks like the bluegill didn't want to come and play. So uh, we're going to go for some crappies. Um, yeah, one inch gulp minnow under a bobber, about a foot under a bobber. Remember this water is maybe like two feet deep. So that should be enough if there's any crappies out there. I know people have caught them here. I just don't know where they are. This is getting to dusk and this is the time they would actually come in and feed on smaller minnows, which I don't see any of. Well, the panfish didn't like me, so we're gonna go back to slinging for gato fish with the worms. I am determined to get a gato fish here tonight. Something bit the shrimp. Is this the fish I want? Is this the fish I've been desiring all my life? It's not because it's not that big, but it could be a gato. Is it a gato fish? Is it a fish of greater gato-ness? It's coming up. Oh, this better not be a pike. But you know, I actually wouldn't mind it if it was a pike. It's, it, I mean, like, I would rather have it be a gato fish. Is that a bullhead? Please don't tell me it's not a bullhead. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it a bullhead? Oh my gosh. It's a bullhead. It's a big one, though. A fish of lesser gato-ness. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to compete with bullheads here now, too. Dang it. It is a gato fish. But not one I want. This is a bullhead gato fish. One of the lesser gato fish. I need fish way more gato than this. All right, lesser gato fish. Oh, thanks for nothing for swallowing my hook. But you get to gato your way off. Oh, it's frustrating. You can't like throw anything out for like five minutes. Even on like five odd hooks without one of these damn things biting it. There's, these are bullheads that are like one pound and even larger bullheads. Yellow bullheads everywhere, infesting. Yeah, I gave up after a while. Like the bullheads basically ate all my bait. They ate all the worms, they all ate all the shrimp, and they were beginning to devour all the hot dogs. Basically, it's basically you throw it out there, two seconds later they hit it, and then they either take half the hot dog or just eat all of it, even though the hot dog's like a third of their size. So uh, yeah, no channels uh, tonight. But five big fish of death, and they love them hot dogs, and they will bite them. If you keep changing locations, you'll just get, keep getting fish of death on those hot dogs. So the hot dogs are actually much more efficient than the actual um, spinners or bait I was actually using to catch the big fish of death. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode, and hope you picked up a new bait for big fish of death. Definitely going to try it to catch bigger fish of death elsewhere. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you out on the water sometime. Have a nice day.